Hey guys, Kildare here, and today we'll be looking at the new hero, Lunara. Lunara is a relatively complex hero and serves as a sort of specialist assassin. What I mean by this is that you would pick her to counter certain heroes. Anyway, before we look into her build, let's have a look at some of her abilities. Her Q is Noxious Blossom. After a 0.5 second delay, causes an area to explode, dealing damage. This is Unara's main poking ability, as fairly high damage with a short cooldown. Landing it is a bit of a challenge at times due to its small radius, but after a while it becomes second nature. In most engagements you would open up with this move and it serves as excellent harass. Her W is Crippling Spores. Enemies currently afflicted with nature's toxin have its duration increased by 3 seconds and are slowed by 40%. This move is later on enhanced by Lunara's talents and becomes very vital to her playstyle. This move is normally used to either secure kills or help ensure safety while fleeing. The extended 3 second on the dot can help secure kills from time to time, however I would definitely not rely on it. As said by the move earlier, it will affect all enemies who have the dot on them, so the more you have it on, the better. Her E is Wisp. Spawns a Wisp to scout an area. It can be redirected once active. 45 second duration and cooldown. This move is also handy for your team. When playing Lunara, make it a priority to always have the Wisp up. Try not to put the Wisp in high traffic areas. Hiding in fog will always help and having it watch over enemy camps will give your team good information. Her trait is Nature's Toxin. Your auto attacks and damaging abilities poison the target for 3 seconds. Every additional application increases the duration to a maximum of 9 seconds. What should be noted about this ability is getting stacks on the enemy to a maximum of 3 will only increase the duration and not the damage. This is normally what gets Lunara's killed. Although it is important to get stacks on the enemy and on as many enemies as possible, remember that Lunara has about the same health pool as Nova. This trait is not too bad, it serves well to slowly deteriorate the enemy team, however if they have more than one support then the poison will not be too effective. Her first rogue ability, which is your R, is Thornwood Vine. Sends forth vines that damages enemies in a straight line, holds three charges. This heroic is mediocre, its damage is not too high, however it's good for spreading your poison followed by activating your W. It has a long range so it can also serve as another poke, but it will not be too useful in full-blown engagements. Her second heroic ability is Leaping Strike. Leap over an enemy, slowing them by 80% for 0.5 seconds and deal high damage, has two charges. Although this move is seen as suicidal, I do believe it is the better of the two in most situations. In no way is this move designed to be used to engage the enemy, but rather finish the enemy off. It deals high damage and grants you a safe distance from the enemy. If it all fails to kill the enemy, or you find yourself surrounded, you can use the second charge on an enemy to reunite yourself with your team. And back to safety. Her Z is Dryad's Swiftness. Lunara gains 20% bonus movement speed passively. Passively, Lunara is faster than most other heroes, granting her good kiting and escaping capabilities. Her movement is considered sort of clunky, since she does not run like normal heroes, but rather hops. This can be used to your advantage or disadvantage depending on the Lunara. Essentially, the hopping can make Lunara unpredictable, and hard to decipher when she moves next. However, if you move in a straightforward fashion, you can be very easily killed. For her first tier, I would normally recommend Blossom Swell. This I would normally recommend if you are struggling to land it as it has a small radius, plus if the enemy team is grouped up you can land it on more enemies due to the increased radius. However, if you are confident in your skill shot ability, a possible option would be Cruel Spores to help lane clear and get neutral camps. If the enemy team has a stealth hero like Nova or Zeratul, then Nature's Perspective will help in giving the enemy a hard time. For the second tier, I would recommend Skybound Wisp, particularly if the enemy team has a stealth hero, like I mentioned before. With this Wisp's ability to see over obstacles, you can put it in safe areas to watch over the enemy, or launch it into a team fight and allow it to die instantly to reveal the area for a Nova or Zeratul. For tier 3, I would pretty much always go with Wild Vigor. 
Having this ability gives Lunara some much needed burst potential. It is by far one of the best options to go on this tier, however if you're going for a more specialist Lunara, then Nature's Calling might be a better choice for you. Tier 4, as I mentioned before, I would pretty much always get Leaping Strike. This move does surprisingly high amount of damage and should be used to help finish off weak enemies like Jaina and the Medic, and not to start fights. It also gives Lunar a bit of escape and helps daze enemy teams in terms of who to focus, much like Uther's Divine Shield. On tier 5 I would recommend getting Giant Killer if the enemy team has more than one tank, otherwise I would suggest getting Greater Spell Shield. Lunara is a very weak hero, and this move helps counter her main cause of death, Nova, and other high damage ability powered heroes. Otherwise, if you feel you are in relative safety, then bolstering your own damage even further would be a good option, with unfair advantage. For tier 6, all the options are pretty good, so it just depends on the situation you are in and your playstyle. Choking Poland is good for when you want to get in a few auto attacks and kite the enemy while slowly killing them with your Q and W. Star with a Spear is good if the enemy team is good at getting your backline. This move will help Lunara stay in relative safety while still being able to do damage. Invigorating Spores is what most people pick, which helps Lunara burst and kill the enemy quickly, however f forces her to be pretty close to the enemy to do so. And Let Them Wither is a good choice if your team has the damage but not the CC to kill the enemy team. This can be your moment to shine and this move can really help isolate one enemy and kill them. And lastly, for tier 7, I would normally go with either Boundless Strikes, which pretty much makes it so that you will always have two stacks of Relieving Strike, which can help you kill more efficiently and or escape. Or Galloping Guide, which is similar in that it allows you to chase enemies more efficiently and also allow you to escape as well. Well guys, thanks for watching, like this video if it helped you, leave a comment if you feel like it, and if you like what you see then feel free to subscribe, you might like my other content that I have to offer. Remember, there is no one perfect build, and I always recommend everyone to make their own build that matches their playstyle. Have a good one.